Metro Transit System is becoming more of a target for sexual harassment. The community is starting to complain about these issues now more than ever before. Uh, well, a man exposed himself and actually me and this woman that was sitting next to me that saw it when we got off the bus, we had told the Metro and then um, I guess it reported it and hopefully got him on the next stop. <laughs> I had noticed that a lot of younger women were being sexually harassed by age demographic peers of theirs, but it's never happened to me. Community groups are plotting ways to prevent sexual harassment, especially on the Metro Transit system. Last year alone, Metro experienced over 84 cases of sexual offenses and only 12 arrests were made. The best way to prevent sexual assault or any sexual harassment from ever occurring, I'm going to go broad here, is some level of culture change, right? And that can really start with something as simple as uh, people looking out for each other. Both sexual harassment prevention organizations, Hollaback DC and Collective Action for Safe Space, will speak before the DC Council's Committee on Government Relations this Wednesday. Metro officials are to be in attendance. I'm Simone Andrews for District Wire News.